saying is 20. 99% are high school graduates. And six of these young men are college graduates. And some three months ago, the 428 men you see before you dedicated themselves to completing this nation's toughest and most rigorous recruit training. This training has emphasized our three core values of honor, courage, and commitment, hallmarks of all Marines. Today, these young men represent all that is good in our great nation and your Marine Corps. At this time, it is my privilege to be the first to officially address our nation's newest Marines. Good morning, Marines!
While at First Angelico, he deployed as the firepower control team leader in support of Operation Restore Hope in Somalia. His staff builds have included time as an officer monitor, operations officer, facilities and maintenance officer, executive officer for Marine Corps Logistics Base Barstow, assistant chief of staff, chief forum for the 3rd Marine Air Wing where he deployed two more times to Iraq, and most recently as assistant chief of staff, chief forum for the Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego and the Western Recruiting Region. Colonel Zauke's personal decorations include the Legion of Merit, Bronze Star, Meritorious Service Medal, and the Navy Marine Corps Accommodation Medal, Third Award. Colonel Zaki will retire from the Marine Corps on February 1st, 2010, after serving our country for the last 28 years. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Colonel Zaki. such as Guadalcanal, Tarawa, Iwo Jima, Pusong, Incheon, Kaesong, Way City, Lebanon, Grenada, Panama, Kuwait, Somalia, and our current operations in Afghanistan and Iraq. This prairie deck is rich in history and tradition, and no marine trade here ever forgets its sights and sounds. Captain K.J. Stepp and the Battalion Stack. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as the national flag passes directly in front of you, please rise. Series 
agency and company honormen who are considered the top men graduating today and have demonstrated the highest potential for future leadership and responsibility in the Marine Corps. Upon the retirement of the guidon, each honorman will receive a plaque from the Marine Corps Association Leatherneck Magazine, a magazine for and about Marine. The guidons will now be returned to the drill instructors. The senior drill instructors will now dismiss their platoons. This will be the last order the new Marines receive from their drill instructors, and probably the most welcome order they have received while in boot camp.